Have you ever noticed in movies or TV shows where the background and supporting cast become blurry to emphasize the main character? This is referred to as cinematic mode and you can create the cinematic effect in Create Studio Pro using the blur effect. Keep watching and I'll show you how. This is Randy with another Create Studio Pro tutorial. It is actually quite easy to generate the cinematic effect where the blur transitions from one person to another, so let's set up the scene. I chose this office exterior background and Harry just in front of the chairs. Then in the foreground, I added Jack and sized both characters appropriately. So now we want to make Harry and the background blurry to focus our attention onto Jack. Now I could group the background and Harry and apply the blur effect, but we will need to cut the track and currently Create Studio Pro will not allow a group to be cut. So I will Command Z twice to back out and apply the blur effect to both tracks individually. Notice that the default blur is too strong, so we will need to back that down. Click on the Harry track, and in the top right, click on Effects. Click on Blur, and then lower the strength to 6. Do the same thing for the background. Now everything except Jack is blurry. Okay. Move the playhead to where you want to switch focus from Jack to Harry. Cut all three tracks using the scissor icon. This order doesn't matter, but here I selected the Jack track after the cut and added the blur effect. Then decrease the strength to 5%. To make the transition from sharp focus to blurry, click on the in animation toggle. As I move the playhead forward, you can see the character is becoming more blurry. Now, let's use that blur animation on the background and Harry to transition them from blur to in focus. Click on the Harry track, click on effects, click on blur, and toggle on in animation. Now in this case, we want Harry to transition from blurry to sharp, and to do that we need to toggle on reverse animation. Now as I scrub through, you can see the blur move from one character to another. I will also want the background to transition to sharp focus, so I will perform the same operations I did on the Harry track to the background track. That is all there is to it. But there is one detail that does not seem right, which is the trees in the distance. With a cinematic depth of field, these trees should always be blurry, and to do that we will add a mask. Add the office background and expand to fill the canvas. Use the pen tool to generate the mask. We don't have to be precise, so I will create some points just to the right of the building and then to the right of the canvas. Don't forget to change the border width to zero. That is very important. Now size both the tracks to the full length of the scene. Select both the image and the path. Right click and select mask image with path. So I don't forget, I will rename this track to Trees. Now, go ahead and apply the blur effect to the trees background. Open the blur panel and click your mouse where you see the double arrow and adjust the blur to a value you like. For this picture, 35% is a good value. There you go. Those are the tips to make a cinematic video with Create Studio Pro. Here is a demonstration video I built to showcase the cinematic effect. Hey guys, do we? Do we seem blurry? We do. 
everyone except for Todd. Why is that, Todd? Well, you are supporting cast. What? The camera focuses on the main character, which is me. Well, what if we have a character that will make you supporting cast? Do you? Yeah. 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 Yes, we do. Oh no, not Danny. Danny, wait, come back. Where do you think he is going? I knew I shouldn't have given him that hero suit. Todd is going to get a big head now. If you are interested in how I created the scenes for this demonstration video, click on the link in the description below. Hey everyone, have a good day and happy creating.